impossible task. When you throw a cloth up in the air, the wind would toss it whichever direction the wind was blowing. So all he had to do was position himself. He had to go this way, then go that way, and then go up and go back. And so he felt like he was getting ready to land at the right opportune time. You have to be able to catch it. And guess what? The anointing wasn't coming to him while Elijah was alive. You cannot have your leaders anointing while they're alive. The devil is a liar. Somebody trying to get my anointing. You can't have my anointing. Oh, well, first of all, I went through way too much to get it. And it started way back when I was a little baby to 45 right now. So in order to get what I have, you have to do what I did. And you have to go back 45 years ago in order to get this anointing. And what God will will transfer my anointing. That's when I'm dead and gone, baby. You're not going to train me. You're not going to suck from me. You're not going to try me up. You're not going to put up your hands on me. You're not going to get my anointing from my sweat. You're not going to play no voodoo on me. You're not going to play no spell on me. You're not going to try to suck from me. But when it's my time to leave this earth, God will give my double portion to whoever is close enough to catch It don't even have to be your firstborn. Come on, oh, come on. It, it, it don't even have to be your own natural child. It can be that spiritual baby that's been following you so closely. It can be that spiritual baby that God chose that can trust his heart with. It can be that spiritual baby that God wants to use because he knows he can handle the power. He can see it. He knows what to ask for. He knows how to catch. He knows how to be in the right position. He knows how to make the moments happen. He knows how to be last, to be first. God is looking for those. Are you in this room right now today? I said, are you in here? I said, are you in here? Where the catcher's at? Where the catcher's at? Y'all should be catching this anointing right now. Y'all should be ready to catch this spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Because guess what? That's one thing you can catch. You can catch a spirit. What you doing? Somebody say, know what you doing. See, 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 while, while I'm on there, while I'm on there, I get irritated when I see altar workers at the altar dealing with spirits when God said, don't wrestle with the flesh. You don't have no business wrestling with the flesh. You have no business suck up, laying hands on quickly. In fact, the Bible tells you to be careful who you lay hands on. You have no business dealing with a spirit like that in the natural. You have to war spiritually in prayer. You labor in prayer. You don't labor with the person. You labor in prayer. Somebody say prayer. You wrestle with the person. When that devil come out of them, it's going to jump on you. Not one, two, but seven going to jump out on you. And you don't wait. You don't get up on that floor. Because it's way worse than you ever did before. You got to be careful of those spirits. Everybody in here ain't right. Everybody in here ain't like you. Some people got some demons they're dealing with. Some people got some warlocks they're dealing with. Some people got some witchcraft. They got some sorcery. They got some manipulation. They got lust spirits. You got to handle that thing wisely. Somebody say handle it wisely. And if you can't handle a spirit, you can't be seen. You have to be able to see how to handle a spirit. When I'm at my church, I don't deal with spirits like that. I don't touch them. When I see people go down, I say, don't touch them. Leave them alone. Say, leave them alone. Say, leave them alone. And then you have to make an exit. You have to open up a door to make it run out the door. So anytime deliverance is taking place, make sure the doors are open. Hallelujah. And make sure there's only believers in the house. And the only time, somebody said, the only if God calls a deliverance service. Okay. So if you don't have the mic and you don't have the authority and God is not giving you the authority over the pulpit, you have no business being a pew pastor out there trying to give a word to somebody else. It ain't your turn. It ain't your time. You are out of order. Uh-oh. 
part of that in this mess. We're gonna sit her down, we're gonna throw her overboard. And she is cursed, she has no power, and she's gonna have an ugly funeral, baby. The only thing you're gonna see of her is the palm of her hands. The only thing you're gonna see of her, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, you won't even see residue. You won't even remember her face anymore.